Um, there are some children that will call this shape a square. It is not a square because these are three-dimensional shapes. So that takes a little getting used to for children, but it's great for them to practice with. Um, and usually what they do is, um, let me switch back to the cylinder, um, they draw and label them. So uh, with the cylinder, there are matching cards. There's ones that they match or the control cards. This is the control card. Um, these also look so old, I, I like that. Um, it show, shows how to spell the word, um, but also a simple picture of it. So when I'm teaching this to children, I try to give some examples. Um, and then I'm pretty comfortable not being great at drawing um, because I think that gives them permission to also just work on it, you know. So sometimes a couple of the shapes that are a little more challenging, I'll try to try to draw out or give a little idea of how you can draw that. Um, some of them are more difficult. Uh, the sphere, you know, to on, when you're drawing that on a piece of paper, you know, I, I usually tell children to just draw a circle. Wow, that wasn't a very good circle. <laughs> Looks like an old boy more uh, for a sphere. And then I say, why don't you put a little shading off to one side to show it's three-dimensional more. Um, and I'd say the, the pyramids are pretty hard for them to draw. Here's the square-based pyramid, the triangular-based pyramid. <laughs> 